result. We arrived here late last night, so we had the, it was like a four o'clock flight, and then we both had a few drinks on the plane and woke up and we were just like, what is going on? Because obviously the time difference as well, waking up to us, it was like two in the morning or something, or like around that, and then obviously we had to carry on. So we got here, checked in, we are staying at the Moxie for two nights, and then we're checking out and going over to the Ludlow for the rest of the trip. But I need to show you this view, which is in front of me right now, it is insane. I sat and watched, sorry, I've got a hair in my face, the sunrise come up this morning over New York, and it was just amazing. Oh, I could just see one of the helicopters going over now. The view we're looking at is so nice. So we're gonna be here for the next few days. I'm gonna take you along on everything we're getting up to. Obviously, this time last year, literally on the 10th, is when Chris proposed. So we're gonna go back to Central Park later and just go back to that spot, which will be really nice. But we're gonna go get some brunch this morning at Sadal's, and this is exactly what we did this time last year, but Sadal's is so good. It's just known for its salmon bagels. And I don't eat salmon in the UK, but I do when it comes to here. I'm so excited to eat all the food, but we're both feeling a little bit jet lagged, a little bit iffy this morning. So hopefully some food will sort us out, but I'm gonna quickly show you the view and my outfit before we go for the day. So this is our room at the Moxie and you can see how amazing this view is. I think we're on the 21st floor, so we've got a good height, but the room is kind of like a concept room. So it's quite small. As you can see, like my suitcase is a little bit here, there and everywhere, but everything is like a concept. So like this chair folds up and hangs, this comes out as a desk and then this is the bathroom in here and obviously you can see the sink is in the room so it's all quite compact and then this is the bathroom which is all a bit of a mess obviously we're getting ready this morning but it definitely warrants amazing view over New York so this is the Moxie in Chelsea so we are very very central which is good so we can just kind of like get around everywhere but this is just so stunning and amazing to wake up to and it literally wraps around the whole room if you can see around here as well so you get this view and then right here I'm not sure if you can see from this window the Empire State Building is literally just around here so we are very very central so we're going to go walking now I think it's around 20 minute walk isn't it babe yeah say hi to the vlog hi <laughs> he's still hanging from yesterday he had so much to drink on the plane he's feeling it aren't you babe yeah Chris is a human tripod today but this is my look i've got the cape coat on from cars which i've been dying to wear i've just put my celine belt in the middle to kind of tie it in just got a plain jersey top from h&m lower the camera a bit and my faux leather leggings these are actually new look last year knee high boots and then i'm actually going to wear my clean bag this one and i wore this so much last year in new york so it actually fits what i need in it's an easy crossbody, and then we're actually going to the Pauline store later today to pick up a new bag, which is going to be nice. So I've been to the one in Paris, but not the one in New York. So we're going to do a bit of shopping in Soho, which I'm excited for. So let's go. So this is honestly the best. I went for the everything bagel and then you get a tower. So we get the uh, cucumber capers, tomato, smoked salmon, and then we had to get the French toast again. I mean, look at that. I'm not gonna lie, but quite cold sat out here. <laughs> I'm like differing, but I'm so excited for this. Oh, and the cream cheese, of course. I even tell you how insane this French toast is. Look how fluffy it is. I am plowing through this on a level of one to 10. What are you gonna give it? I didn't leave a lot of salmon left for my other bagel. I left it for you. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'll give it uh, an eight out of ten. It'd be intended if they were a bit less stingy on the salmon.
burgundy bag. Let's ignore the fact that I've got a poppy seed in my teeth. I realised halfway through my appointment in there. I think this is really zoomed in actually, but we've just come to Aritzia. I'm trying to cover my mouth. And this is my first Hi, time guys. coming in. And it is such a lovely store and the service has been amazing. This um, sales assistant has really just, she was just so nice, wasn't she? And helping us and I ended up getting this really nice coat. Yeah, I ended up getting this really nice coat which I'll show you guys. It's like a gorgeous kind of camel colour which is going to be really classic and timeless. It's going to be my only coat purchase for this year. I did a full wardrobe switch over but we're just having a coffee now because when you do a purchase you get a little token and you can come and get a coffee and it's so cute and aesthetic so having a little coffee pit start but we might go back to the shop and try a coat on for you. Maybe, let's see. Greenwich aren't we? We're actually not far from the friends apartment and this is the little wine bar we've come to it's called Aria and we had like calamari. Chris had like a glass and a half of the Reslin which is really good. I had a pinot and we just had some little sides but we're gonna go back now have a nap because we're tired. Good evening I'm not sure where I last left the vlog I think it was when we were out at the cute little wine bar in Greenwich but we come back had a nap and we've missed our booking for tonight we had a booking at six but we were just so tired and jet lagged we woke up it's eight so I've had to literally pull myself together real quick just done a red lip I took off my brown mascara that I had on earlier the dream pop from Miss Charlotte Tilbury and I've just kind of redone my eyes really quickly I have gone over my hair with the hotel hair dryer I have brought my own but I need to work out the travel adapter then I've got this top on from Naked. As you can see, it kind of wraps around the neck. I've got a few new pieces from Naked I'm going to share with you as well. I've got my Arquette blazer on and my faux leather trousers from Abercrombie and my Dior heels. This is probably the worst outfit check ever. I'm holding my light here so you can see me. But we're going to head out now. We're going to hopefully go to this restaurant. What's it called again, babe? Mirandi. Mirandi, yeah. Um, it was an Italian Mirandi recommendation club. we've got, and then a jazz club next to it called Kobe Club. Just gonna try and get in there. Like I said, we've missed our reservation, so fingers crossed. So we've come to Mirandi. So far, ten out of ten. It's like a really cool. How to describe it? It reminds me of like a sea chalet. Like you can see the wooden beams, the lighting. We managed to get seats at the bar. We've just had stars, so good. And now we're on our second hotel. We ordered the pentes, but they're not the pentes. clear blue skies which is perfect today because Chris has booked a surprise for my birthday but I now know the surprise and we're going on a helicopter ride later although he probably doesn't look as excited in the background he's currently watching the football I'm gonna leave him to watch the football whilst I show you what I picked up yesterday from Aritzia this was the first time I've been to the store and it did not disappoint. The quality, the store alone was beautiful and the staff was so friendly as well. And they had a little coffee shop in there. If you buy, you get a token and then you can get a coffee. So we did that after. But I picked up the most beautiful coat. And then I also got this hoodie, which I'm wearing, hence why it's still got the tag on. I was just trying it on. I went for a size small in it and it's just so snuggly and soft. And I don't actually have a white hoodie. And I thought this is great to just kind of throw on and then put like a smart coat over the top. But this is the coat I got. I went into the store and I instantly gravitated towards it. It's so beautiful. It's cool 
called the slouch coat and it is virgin wool so it's beautiful material it's italian made also got the little tag on the outside which i thought was cool it's a little bit different and you can see the stitching going through it which i loved this gorgeous camel collar i'll properly try it on for you guys but you can see it's double breasted it's so beautiful and the sales assistant was saying because it's virgin wool it's really lightweight and breathable so you don't feel like suffocated in like a big bulky coat so i thought this would be great for just layering over everything and my autumn winter purchase because i haven't purchased a coat this season just for like a good winter coat i did my wardrobe switcher which you might have seen and this deserves a place in my wardrobe. Then I also went to Palan, as you saw. The store was so beautiful, the interiors were amazing. And I went for this burgundy bag. I was on an RNF to get the medium one or the mini, and I ended up getting the mini size. And how beautiful is this? It reminds me, I don't know why, of like a croissant, <laughs> the style of it, but I just thought it was a beautiful shape. And I've been eyeing this up on the website for a while now, and you can actually get it personalised. So I got the strap monogrammed, which is in here actually, and they only do this in the New York store, so I thought it's a really nice little personal touch. And obviously something I'll always remember from being in New York. So I got my initials here, CR, on the strap as well, so obviously can be worn across body but i brought a beautiful burgundy coat with me from naked which i'm going to be doing a full naked haul in this video because i brought so many beautiful pieces which i'm sure you guys are going to love and i thought this would go perfectly with it so very very happy with my new bag and then alongside it they kindly gifted me this little pouch which is actually their new part of their new collection i've never seen these before but i thought this would be perfect in at the summer it's got a little hand strap which you can obviously put together but i thought this would go really nicely in my celine basket bag with the tan details and it's just a perfect size to put like your bits and bobs in i thought it'd be a really nice present so i wanted to share it with you guys and the packaging is so beautiful it's so rustic and very in line with their stores as well and then they also gifted me this lovely ring so they've started to do a jewelry collection now and i'm very happy that it's all gold because that's what I wear again it comes in this little pebble case which is very cute and I went with this ring it's like intertwined it's so beautiful and I thought it works well actually on this finger so I got absolutely spoiled yesterday in Palen. So very grateful. It was so lovely going into the store and the staff there were beautiful. So if you are ever in New York or you live here, I highly recommend going and checking it out because it's such a lovely store. And like I said, it's only the one that does the monogram as well. So you can get it personalized. And again, a great gift idea. We are off to brunch this morning. I've booked Jack's wife, Frida, in Soho. And then we're actually checking out of the Moxie and we're going over to the Ludlow, which is where we stayed last time and doing the helicopter ride today so it should be a really good day and we're going to go to central park as well we were going to go yesterday but it wasn't sunny so we thought we'll leave it till today when it's a little bit brighter skies and sunny and go back to us and I can't believe they just have puppies in the window like this. I would literally take one home. Look, they're all snuggled up. Little white bit and these little schnars. Little puppies and they're all in these little boxes back here. Is that good for them? Just to be kept like this? Can we take them all home? Found more dogs. Look at this one, it's squished up the window. I can't, can't cope. Every other shot, there's just dogs in the window. So cute. We had brunch this morning, then we went back and checked out of the Moxie, and we are just now at the ferry port because we are going to go and get on a helicopter. And I'm just looking at them now. You can probably hear it in the back. I'm not going to lie, I am a bit scared. I've done one helicopter ride before, which was actually in London over Batty Power Station, but. I believe this is probably going to be one of the best helicopter rides of my life going over New York City, so I'm very, very excited.
come to Central Park and we're doing the exact same walk as where you led me last year time. Year ago today. It is so pretty, it's literally like the exact same as it was last year, like the sun is all starting to set, all the leaves are like beautiful colours, it's just so autumnal and nostalgic. Um, so we're going to go back to the spot now and then we're going to go to the boathouse because the boathouse wasn't open last time was it? No. So we're yeah, trying to look for it. favorite spot with this view behind us it is just so beautiful the sun's gone down a little bit now the camera like, doesn't do it justice in the gray i know it's not picking it up but honestly it's just magical here and it's just so nice to come back it was literally this time last year so we just got a little drink didn't we from the boathouse and a little bit of lunch good lobster roll bye birthday so I'm not sure where I last vlogged yesterday I think it might have been when we were at Central Park but we came back and I had a bath we checked into the Ludlow so we checked out of Moxie checked into Ludlow and got here like seven o'clock and then had a bath literally so nice I'm going to show you a bit of a room tour we stayed here last year so if you watch the last New York vlog you'll see and I think we're actually in the exact same room as we were last time weren't we same floor same room same floor he's just currently munching on the sweets that they gave us we came in and they had a bottle of wine waiting and some sweeties which was nice but the aesthetics of the bathroom was so lush and the lighting in here so we've, again quite high up so we've got a really nice view but yeah we got back last night and i had a bath and then we were just so tired we don't but literally both passed out and we just couldn't wake ourselves up to go out so we cancelled a reservation because we're in east village at the minute oh <laughs> You okay? Sorry, I put my shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> we're in East Village at the minute. So Chris planned to where was it that we were gonna go last night? The sushi. Blue ribbon sushi is a kaya. Yeah, we were gonna go there, but we just couldn't wake ourselves up. We were knackered. Because I think we've just been on the go every day and waking up at like 5 a.m. Mm. So we just literally had sushi takeout last night in bed and watched friends and passed out early. Woke up on my birthday to champagne, which was really nice in bed. And we just took it really easy this morning. And now we're going to go get some bagels. And then later we're going to go to Saks Fifth Avenue and do some shopping, maybe get some wine. Just celebrate my birthday in style here in New York. And then later we've got dinner reservations at Gallagher's. So last time we went to Keen's and we loved it. It's a really good, cool, like New York steakhouse but we've had good recommendations from Gallagher, so we thought we'll try that tonight. But we've got a late booking, because we're gonna make sure we don't nap, because that's where we're going wrong. We get back, we nap, and then we can't wait back up. So yeah, I will bring you along with us. This is like our last full day. Tomorrow we've got a whole day, because we're back on the red eye. But this is like fast, last full day and night, but I don't wanna leave New York, I love it here. And this is my current view. You can see we are quite high up, we're on the 13th floor. And this is the view over East Village of New York. So a little bit different from when we were earlier at the Moxie in Central, but it's just so beautiful. A lovely sunny autumn day, but it has got a room. This is the Loft Queen and we're on the 13th floor. So we've got quite a good view. Obviously it's a bit messy from where we've been sleeping and all our stuff's a little bit everywhere with the suitcases, but you have these two big amazing windows with the view of East Village over New York. I love the interiors in here as well it's really cool and just like a little seating area and then I will obviously show you all of the new in pieces that I've got from Naked I've just hung some of these up like the coats um, this burgundy one would actually go lovely with the Pauline bag so I will show you that and then this is the bathroom it's very aesthetically pleasing but obviously at the minute it's a little bit messy I had a nice soak in this tub last night and I've just opened the window so you can hear the sounds of New York in the back but it's so nice because you can see obviously the huge shower here so when you're showering you can look out to the view but 
it's just such a lovely size bathroom and obviously the aesthetics of it are beautiful it's quite well known for it so with the loft queen you do get the big tub and this amazing view so i'm going to get myself together and then i will try on the pieces from naked to show you what i've packed so this is one of the tops that i've been wearing actually in the evenings i've worn this twice it crosses over at the back if you can see, obviously I haven't faked on my back. And then it comes around as like a neck piece. So it's just a really nice kind of plain black top that you can just put with leather leggings. I put it with my Dior heels and then I've just got my blazer over the top. So I always think pieces like this are good to have in your wardrobe. It's just that nice top and jeans kind of look and it just looks really chic and minimal. So they also do this in a dress, I believe, but obviously, I went for the top. I then also packed this coat, which you would have seen, I believe, in my last naked haul that I shared with you guys, but I've been wearing it a lot. It's this hair and bone texture going through it. If you can see up close, these gorgeous, like brown, chocolatey, and beige colors. And I have a few coats from Naked like this, and they last me for years. It has the shoulder pads, so it has that structure, and it's just a really nice, oversized, straight coat. So I've just paired it with my leather trousers, my my new balance trainers and just a cream chunky knit just for like an everyday look it does also come with a belt so you can tie it up as well if you want this is the burgundy coat that i was on about and how great does it look with the pauline bag they match perfectly this kind of it's like a grape color it's just a little bit off red but i just thought this was such a lovely pop of color to add to wardrobe i'm just going to wear it like this with like an all cream look with the plan bag my new balance trainers just kind of have it a bit casual on the bottom because again it's very much like the other coat it's got the shoulder pads it's a straight fit these are the ones that i always gravitate towards and wear i just think they make an outfit look a little bit more tailored and chic and then you can wear a little bit more of a relaxed look underneath and it just brings it together and lastly i think i'm going to put this on later today but i'm probably going to wear it with my little kind of black dress underneath tights and knee-high boots and then have it buttoned up but this is giving isabel morant vibes it's beautiful it's from the claire rose collection i saw it and i instantly put this in my basket i was like this coat is so me the tailoring on it is beautiful the material you can see up close and then obviously with the black button details and then how it comes across like this i would definitely wear it done up i'm sure by now i would have worn this and shot it so i'll insert a picture of how i'm gonna style it but it also works how i've got it just open cream jumper leather leggings and i'd probably just put some black boots with it but if there's one thing from this little try on i definitely recommend this jacket hopefully it's still in stock i will link them all down below as usual and i'll leave my size references as well but i think i'm going to get into a bit more of a casual outfit which i'll show you when we run for bagels this morning this is the outfit i'm wearing this morning to go get some bagels we're going to go to tomkins bagels we went there this time last year for my birthday it's so good it's really well known and normally the queue is huge but i've got this cape on from zara the scarf is naked and then i've got these cream trousers i had these again last year and these are from zara i've got my new balance trainers on my cream ones and then my YSL soft and tail bag. So, oh, and underneath this is just a cream knit from, I believe this was River Island like two years ago. And then obviously my Monica Benedict jewelry on. I got cream, beige, all the neutrals to go get some bagels on my birthday. Oh, 
Good evening guys, I have hardly vlogged today. It has been my 30th birthday and I've been just kind of just taking it in and I currently have champagne and sweets and I'm getting ready to go out tonight. We're gonna go to a steak restaurant, Gallagher's. Ow. We went to Keen's last year and it was so good. I love like proper like New York steakhouses. And Gallagher's is like meant to be the same. So we've made a reservation there. Last night we literally passed out, didn't go out. We were absolute grandmas and grandpas. Show my age that I'm turning 30. Let's not talk about it. I'm not talking about that I'm turning 30 on this vlog. I'm just currently processing it, clearly. Makeup has just gone a little bit crusty. I've had it on all day and I've been breaking out loads recently as you can see so I need to like rejig this hair and makeup and turn myself around because I've got a really cute dress tonight I have got myself together I don't know how I'm doing this with basically zero hair dryer, zero Dyson trying to style my hair but I've just gone over my makeup slightly and then I've put on the dress from H&M I feel like this is just a birthday dress and it has the big bow at the back and then I've got my Dior heels on. I'm gonna do my Chanel bag and we're going out for steak for our last night. Feels a little bit surreal that we're in our last night because I just feel like I'm in this like New York bubble now I'm here. But I cannot tell you how much I miss my Dyson Air Wrap not being able to do my hair. But I'm just trying to make it work. So this is my 30th birthday outfit. For the night, we're gonna go for dinner, like I said, and I'll try and vlog as much as I can, but at the same time, I'm trying to take time off. So I switched just into this black top that I've got from Naked again, and my black pro leather trousers and blazing the market, because in New York okay. it's very casual, it's the evening. So we've come to Gallagher's, and this place is so my vibe. They were playing all the Parent Trap songs, and on the wine list, it was all the wines from Air Valley. So we've got a lovely bottle of bread from Merlot, a uh, Merlot, sorry, which is from Napa Valley. They were playing LOV from Nat King Cole, and we've just ordered our steak, and it's such a cool vibe in here. It's not bougie, it's just really cool and pop at New York, which I love. So, very much my vibe for the evening. Is Yeah, we've had a very lazy morning because we're not gonna lie, we're a bit hungover. Um, turn 30 and the hangovers hit different. You we are. had <laughs> Now that you're old, your hangover lasts. More, yeah, well it just hit it me a bit. We a had harder. a lovely bottle of red wine, but I've just been feeling it a bit this morning. So we had a lazy morning, we've checked out the Ludlow and we're just currently walking along Chelsea High Line. We've come over because we didn't come to this part um, last time we were in New York and it's just off like the Meatpacking District which is a really nice area and there's loads of cool restaurants there as well. So it's actually a really nice day, it's cold but Empty bright well. blue skies. I thought this was like a lot of restaurants and stuff or is it literally just it, a walk it path? It runs through Chelsea Market and goes up towards Meatpacking or goes up towards Hudson Yards. Right, so yeah, we're gonna go and find a little snackaroo, snacky snack. Little snack, snack. Little snack, snack. And hopefully, we'll cure the hangover. We went to the Lost Tacos. The queue was quite long, but it went fast, right? Such good guac as well. Looks very, very good. Yeah. So we had some tacos at Lost Tacos. It was so good. I've just put my hat on because my hair, I haven't been able to do it with a hair dryer, so I thought the hat would be better. And it actually matches my Pauline bag. I'm wearing it for the first time. I love the color of this. It just adds a nice little pop of red, 
wearing the naked coat and we're just having a little last mooch around Soho. It's actually quite quiet because it's on a Monday. I've just been shooting this outfit as well. We're just gonna have a little mooch around the shops, maybe grab a coffee, but we're heading back today. We're going back on the red eye. So we've got a few hours to have a little mooch, but um, we're just saying it's been a nice trip. It's been different to last time. Obviously it's a little, been a little bit more chill, but we've been doing a lot. It's been quite jam packed and we've been eating our way through the city as well. We did have a dinner reservation tonight at Frank, is it called Shop. Frankie's? Frankie's Pizza. Frankie's Pizza that was again recommended and it's near the Lolo Hotel, but we just said to each other, we're like, I don't think we fancy pizza right now. Um, I'm gonna get a pizza slice for $1.50. Okay, do you know what we've not food. done? Joey's Pizza. Joey's Pizza. Should we try and find one now? I mean, I, I don't want pizza right now, but you, you're hungry. Maybe. If it's a slice. Yes, who got their pizza slice? I'm so very happy about it. It's Is so that the best pizza? Crispy. Oh my god, look at it dripping.